studying anatomy, spending your precious time and money to attend useless art school? It takes too long, like, dude, I'm just drawing to chase clout. Hee <laughs> hee! I may not be a professional artist, but I am a professional clout chaser. And I do anything to get lights. I take a lot of shortcuts. So y'all better buckle up, because I'm gonna share my knowledge to you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna impart my knowledge. Okay, so let's proceed to our first lesson. Please bear with me, I'm only writing on my notebook because I don't have a whiteboard marker. So, this is the first lesson. Listen. Drawing hot people is the best option because not only will your followers find it visually appealing, you'll also find it easier to break down their features and simplify. That's why I don't draw ugly people because their proportions are all over the place. It's easy to get the proportions right when you're drawing hot people. If you want to draw ugly people, go ahead, but it's going to be a lot harder. Just do it when you've mastered drawing hot people. Which brings us to our next tip. Searching for references on Google is a sin. I don't know if I could call that a tip, but if you search for references on Google, I used to do that as well, so I know how it feels like to be pathetic. Obviously, if you're looking for references, Bing is the best search engine. Pinterest is your best pal. Cut off all your ties with Google. Use Pinterest because when you click on a certain image that you like, Pinterest is going to recommend you visually similar images. And the best part is that you can save those images and categorize them. Pinterest is an artist's best friend. When you search for a hot anime guy, Pinterest is going to show you a hot anime guy. It is that accurate. Tip number three, don't get feedback from your snake friends. They're always lying to you. If you ask for feedback from your friends and they say you're good, they're lying. Don't believe them. No matter how authentic they want to be towards you, most friends would rather not hurt your feelings. They will always hold back. Or maybe they think it's not in their place to tell you that your art sucks, which it probably does. Ask feedback from complete strangers. People who aren't afraid to hurt your fragile ego, like 12 year olds on Roblox. Next tip, use the color wheel. Listen, I don't really know a thing about color theory. I mean, at school they taught us about primary, secondary, tertiary, analogous and all that stuff. All I remember is that orange and blue look good together for some reason, but all I really know is that there's this color wheel and then there's this box inside of the wheel. This is literally everything you need. Basically, you lay the base color and then you just rotate the wheel and select a darker color, which makes a huge difference for some reason. It works like magic. You don't have to be an expert in color theory. Next tip, you're not a real artist. Are you guys familiar with a code that goes like, Real artists don't need special equipment or something along those lines. I think that that is complete and other BS. Guys, download the right programs, the right brushes. You're only making your job harder. It's not called being persevering, it's called being inefficient. What do you mean real artists don't need nice materials? I don't care, you cannot make something on MS Paint and expect it to be as easy as drawing on Photoshop. The next tip is to copy other people. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this. It is a fact that nothing in this world is original. You guys know Japan's bullet trains are designed to look like a bird's beak? Bro, we're copying even nature. I mean, you've probably copied something yourself, unconsciously. That's a real thing. But I'm not telling you to copy the whole thing. Just observe the way your favorite artists paint, stuff like that. You'll eventually find your art style. 
And lastly, you have to choose who you want to impress. Like, basically, are you a hipster or are you a clout chaser? You shouldn't be pretentious. If you're doing it for attention, accept it. Do you think I'm admitting that I'm desperate for attention because I want to be funny? No, I'm just being honest. It just so happens that I'm naturally funny. Which reminds me, for every like this video gets, I'll do more hee <laughs> hee videos. So like this video. I used to be the pretentious artist, like I wanted to learn things on my own, like without looking at references, because back then I was like, oh my god, it's cheating. Like that slowed me down a lot. Like I wanted my own art style, but it ended up looking like crap, because it was from my own imagination. Like just my two brain cells came up with that. Of course it looks like crap, but being a good artist is entirely subjective, so you really have to choose who you want to appeal to. Do you want to appeal to other artists? Do you want to appeal to gamers? Then draw what they want to see. Don't just draw. Personally, I'm still on that journey. I still don't know what art style I want. All I know is that I want to be rich and famous. Hee <laughs> hee! On a serious note, you should approach being an artist with humility. Learn to accept that you have a lot to learn from many different people regardless of how skilled or not you are. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Okay, so this is actually my first time showing my face. Like, I didn't say this in the intro because like, who the heck cares? But I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, thank you for watching. Stay cool.